Hi, I'm Dennis Rule, commercial photographer in Ottawa, Canada. Check it out. This is the Westcott Pro Grip. It's the hottest tool out there for event photographers and for people just getting started off in off-camera flash. Um, the pistol grip design is very, very comfortable to hold. I got my speed light here. I got my radio transceiver in one hand. I can still hold my camera in the other and get some great shots and taking full advantage of having my flash off of the camera. The Pro Grip has got a hole through the center, which is a pass-through, so I can mount an umbrella. There's also a threaded uh, hole at the bottom here that I can mount it onto a light stand, or I can mount it on my tripod, and that way I've got both hands free to take control of the camera. Um, it comes in two kits. The first kit's got a, um, a soft box that mounts on top of the speed light, and the kit that I want to talk about today comes with this really cool double-fold umbrella. I love this thing because it's so nice and small. It fits right into my camera bag, so it eliminates another piece of gear that I have to carry separately. Open that up, double fold. So as it opens, it gives me a full 42 inch umbrella. Talked about the pass through hole here. Move that in place, and I'm just gonna hold it here and tighten it in, and now it's nice and solid. And check this out. On all of the other umbrella holders that I've ever seen, first of all, I've never seen one with a pistol grip, but all of the others that I've seen, your flash fires up in the top quadrant here. Westcott's really thought this out. They've aimed, they're designed the pro grip so that your flash aims to the center. So it uses the full uh, circumference or the full area of the umbrella. So you get the, the, the best soft light that you can possibly get. So use it this way, it's a, uh, reflective umbrella so my light is firing into the umbrella and coming back towards my subject or use it this way and now it's a shoot through umbrella so that the light comes right through and it take advantage of all that wraparound uh, giving you uh, nice um, subtle shadows that's great for shooting larger groups. Let's take it into the studio and uh, put it through its paces and see what we get. Okay so we're here in the studio I've got I um, wanted to take a reference shot so I put a flash on top of my camera this is the way most people shoot and I've got my model, Paulina, here, and uh, we're going to take a shot just so we have a reference point. And there we go. We've got um, a shot that's you know, well exposed. It's kind of plain, but uh, I know we can do better. And that's where our Westcott um, Pro Grip really comes in handy. I've got it set up here on a tripod. And what I'm going to ask to do, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get Paulina to bring her bench forward to me. And we're going to put the bench right about here. So I've switched my uh, flash on top of the camera to a pocket wizard and now the pocket wizard is talking to the flash on the ProGrip. I'm going to use a light meter. You don't need one of these. You can do it from trial and error. But with the light meter, I can tell exactly that my flash is at F9. And so I can set my camera and it takes all the guesswork out of it. So with that said, we'll set it up and we'll take a shot. One, two, three. And now you can see the difference where the background is separated and I've got a full wraparound light. The shadows are very, very subtle and that's going through uh, a reflective umbrella. Okay, so I've turned the Pro Grip around. We're now using it as a shoot-through umbrella. So I'm getting all of that surface area coming on to Paulina's face. I'm gonna use my light meter again because things have changed. It's not reflective anymore. I'm now shoot-through. So we'll take another reading and it's telling me F11. So we've actually gone up a stop it's more efficient this way. Um, again, you don't need the light meter. You can do this by trial and error, but we want to keep the video short. So we're going to set the camera to F11, which we already have, and one, two, three. And now you can see that the shadows have got a whole lot more depth to them. There's more wrap around, and it's a completely different light. So here I've set up the uh, shoot through uh, Pro Grip umbrella and I've got it right next to Paulina's face. It's going to give me a very dramatic look and it's going to give me a completely different look than we had before. By bringing that big soft light closer in, uh, you'll notice quite a difference. So I'm going to use my light meter again and uh, I've lowered the power down on the, on the light. Uh, so I know that right now I'm still at F11, but I've taken all the guesswork out with the, with the light meter. So we're just going to come in here nice and tight and get a shot. Okay, so you'll notice that the shadows now are quite a bit darker on the far side of the face. And that's because the light just can't get there. So there's a couple of ways that you could fix that. First of all, you could leave it just like that if that's the look that you're after. But in my case, I want to have just a little bit more fill. I could do it a couple of ways. So I could bring in a white card, 
I could bring in a reflector, but I've got this big white wall here with a backdrop hanging, so I'm gonna use that. You could use a bed sheet, it would work just the same. But all I've done is the exact same setup as before. I've just moved Paulina in a little closer to the white background here, or the white reflector. This could be a white wall, anything at all. But now the light's gonna hit here and bounce back onto the shadow side of the face. And watch the difference. I've just gotta be a little creative to make sure I get my background in. And there you go. The shadows are quite a bit lightened and everything comes out uh, looking exactly what I'm looking for. By using the tools that I have available, I've created a shot that's just not capable without uh, having that flash off the camera. For Westcott, I'm Dennis Rule, the lighting guy. Thanks for watching. <laughs>